The table shows Alex's height on selected birthdays. Find the rate of change from year 10 to year 14. So let's look at the table. Here we can see age is this first row, 6, 10, 14. We want the rate of change from year 10 to year 14. So the rate of change is going to be the amount of height that changed divided by the number of years that changed. So it's going to be the height divided by years. And that's typical for a rate of change is that it's something per time. In this case, height per years. So we need to find the amount of change of height and the amount of change in years also. The amount of change in height is 66 minus 50 because we went from 50 plus something make to 66. So we can find that by 66 minus 50 and that is 16. And then for years, 10 plus something makes 14. Well, that's 14 minus 10, or 4. So the change in height was 16, and it was actually inches. Let's put that there. And the change in years is 4 years. So we need to divide the change in height by the change in years to get our final rate of change. So it's going to be 16 inches divided by 4 years. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. And the rate is going to be inches per year. Or you could write it out as 4 inches per year also. And of course there are a lot of assumptions here. We're assuming that this is an average rate of change because it's four years. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't exactly four inches per year. Maybe it was five inches one year, three inches another year. But all we know is the 10 and the 14 and the 50 and the 66. We don't know what happened in between. So we're assuming that it is an average rate here, this four inches per year. So that's how you find rate of change. You find the difference in the values by subtracting and then you compare the values by dividing.